It has been a rainy few days all over the state, but northern New Mexico may have seen the worst of it. Homes are surrounded by water, roads flooded, and people left in the dark. Now the cleanup begins. News 13's Cole Miller is live in Española with more. Cole. Kim, the road I'm off here is just off of Fairview and Española, and rather than looking more like a road, it looks more like a river. But neighbors here tell me it was even worse this morning, with some parts seeing more than two feet of water. And now they want something done about it. Road repairs and cleanup are in full swing today in Española. I can't remember the last time the, the city of Española has really had rainfall like this for so many hours. Two big thunderstorms leaving behind a big mess. I cannot leave home with my small vehicle. Uh, the water right here in two spots is at least 20 inches deep. This is how things look from Sky News 13. Homes near the Rio Grande surrounded by water. It is a pond. <laughs> we got 22 inches of rain. No one in Española had to leave their homes, but that doesn't mean there haven't been a lot of problems. It's put a toll on driving out of here, going to work. I've had to park my car up in the up on the hill at the church. Alan Sullivan says he's lost some power at his home. I've been here uh, six years. My wife and I, we bought this our double wide. And this is the first time that we have experienced this torrential uh, amount of water at one time. When it comes to help, though, not much can be done, at least on Sullivan's Road, Angel Duran Drive. Some neighbors say the problem with this road is that it's their mess. You see, their property lines run to this fence near the highway. And it's not the city's responsibility. You know, they figure this is my property. I, I want to keep it this way. The way it is, Sullivan says, isn't working. The low lying land simply fills up with nowhere for that water to go. We are stuck until this dries up. He says anything will help. We're not asking for uh, a full concrete uh, barrier of sorts. We're looking for something to. To just keep the runoff from coming into our into our, our our driveway, our homes. And one city councilor wants changes too. These are things that we want to solve and we want to help people solve. Well, I hope that they could fix this problem because I would hate to go through this again. Now the big question is when will this water go away? When will it evaporate? That's the waiting game that residents are going through tonight. Now, I want to step to the other side of the camera. I'm going to swing it around here. I want to show you some of the clouds that we're seeing to the west form. Um, give me just one second here. I'm going to move this camera. Now, we're seeing some very, very gray skies to the west as these clouds form. We've already seen a few sprinkles here as well. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Cole. Now, residents, residents in northern Santa Fe County were also hit hard. About 60 homes in the Pawaka Valley mobile home area were evacuated overnight. As Cole showed us, the news is not good for these people. That area is expected to get the worst of tonight's storms. Here's meteorologist Mark Runkin. Yeah.